We all remember what happened, right? With the ice cream mm -hmm. thing, with BMW. If you watched the last show, anyway, quick recap. BMW at the Shanghai Motor Show gave away free ice creams. They ran out and there was this miscommunication or this screw up where people thought they were only giving ice creams to foreigners and not local Chinese people. So there's almost like a mini riot and... Uh, there was this crazy thing where the ice cream guys, riot, yeah, riot. came out and they were like trying to block a streamer who was trying we to got, find out. We'll get some more of that later. Yeah, you'll see. Anyway, as a response to this, a very well-known live streamer in China. Okay, I'm going to put him in, a, in the background here. This guy's name is Simba. <laughs> Simba. Yeah, like the lion. <laughs> Really, and you have chips, and by the way, a little yeah. tidbit I learned: Simba is a, a company of chips. Yeah, South, South African Africa. chips, Simba yeah. chips. Yeah. yeah. They're great or whatever. I can't remember. That's that's Frosties. They're great. Yeah, that's Frosties. They don't say that. But it's they roar with flavor. I think that's what it is. Oh, interesting. You said Frosted Flakes, right? Yeah. Kellogg's um, Frosties. Yeah, I call it, we call them Frosted Flakes. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. I believe, actually, it's not a tiger that says they're great. I think someone else says something about them being Oh, they're great. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's, that's right. right. It was that's Jaunty. Right. Yeah, it was Jaunty. Anyway, um, so this Simba guy, he's, he's what's called a, a Kwai... He's a Kwai Shou uh, Wang Hong. Yeah. Okay, so what he does is he does these like live streams that sell stuff. So he's mad popular for basically having online sales events. Yeah. And they'll get like other big name stars, uh, you know, like he's movie stars. Yeah, he's a streamer. And Kwai Shou is just an alternative to Douyin. It's more yeah. more countryside people use it though in yeah. China. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Anyway, and then what he'll do is he'll be like, we've got a special on the shampoo. And it's like, if you order right now, like within the next 10 seconds, you'll get it for whatever, right? <laughs> yeah. That's what he does. For this low, low price. Pretty much. <laughs> if you order now. <laughs> but he's broken tons of records, like selling like hundreds of thousands of shampoo bottles in like 10 seconds and stuff like that. Would, would you say he does something like this? What? If you order now <laughs> with a low, low price of one yuan, they're not even here. If you <laughs> order now for the low, low price of one point five yuan, you'll get two like that. Something like yeah, stop. Okay, cool. Anyway, okay, you get yeah. The idea, yeah. So anyway, the fact of the matter, he's he got all pissed off about this BMW thing. So he's like, I'm gonna make this right. I'm Chinese. I'm well known, and he's rich. You know, he's yeah. a very rich influencer. So he bought like. A lot of ice cream. It's a good intention. Yeah, he had this great intention. He's like, I'm going to buy ice cream, set it up, and any Chinese person can come take it for free. Yeah. One might say he's the pride of the country. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, he set this up. And let's take a look what's going on here. You'll notice he's a little frustrating. And you can maybe you can tell people what he's saying. Let's, let's play it yeah. out first. <laughs> he's getting mad. So yeah, why is he mad. mad? He's getting mad because people aren't lining up. So yeah. he's basically shaming them. And he's, you know, he's using his national identity to shame people into lining up because if they're not, then they're not Chinese. He's like, he's basically saying, don't forget your Chinese. Yeah, don't forget your Chinese. You're Chinese, right? Yeah. Line up. Don't forget your Chinese. Don't forget your Chinese. Because, okay, this is actually how it started. If you look behind, he set up all these ice cream things and he's got a loudspeaker and he's basically saying, Chinese people come get a free ice cream. I guess what he's saying. So the, here's the first hint that something's about to go wrong yeah. over here. Okay. He's saying ah yeah, which means hey ie, which means hey auntie. Yeah. Okay. You 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 probably get where this is going because we all know about grab hags on this show, right? <laughs> did we mention that, or he ended that first statement by saying shut up? <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> he did. Sorry. Anyway, so he's like ah yeah. It's like, why are you trying to take so much? I look at the, there's a grab hag. She's, there's a grab hag. So like everyone's coming. He's like, everybody take yeah, one. Grab hag comes in there. She's taking as much as she can carry. Yeah. Okay. So then. And they're filming it all. So um, then he goes into this whole thing, which you saw here, because it just gets out of control. People start coming and grabbing handfuls and as much as they can carry. Right. Yeah. And that's why he's like. Getting mad. Now, you know how I said yeah. he had good intentions? Yeah. Actually, what's the opposite of a devil's advocate? 
I, I don't know, like an angel's advocate. I'm going to be an angel's advocate. Yeah, okay, here. sure. This guy's a piece of shit. Sure. All he's doing this is basically for clout online. So he can be like, look, I am so good. I am giving to the locals because BMW is racist. That's yeah. what he's doing. You know and what? It's not going according to plan. So he's mad. And you know what's happened is he's what? he's just lost faith in his countrymen yes. right here. Yeah. You can tell. You can see he's like, he didn't expect people to misbehave so badly. And, just is, come to-. and to be honest, it's just ruining his video. Yeah. Right? It's ruining his stream. Yeah, because he's trying to show, like, it's supposed to be this nice orderly thing where yeah. it's like one person. Anyway, um, it gets worse. So he, this gets released online and he starts getting massive backlash. Okay. How dare you, like, speak to us Chinese people like this? So he gets sprayed, as they say. Yeah, as they say. They say sprayed. So that means people attacked him. Trolls attacked him. It's like, you should let us, our Chinese people take what we want, you know? You shouldn't limit us. You shouldn't be, you know, belittle us type yeah. thing. So then he's like, relents, right? <laughs> Cause, yeah, because it's live, right? So yeah. people are spraying him as he's live. Yeah. We gotta be much better at translating. He's getting attacked yeah. by the people online in the comments yes. as they're rolling, just like you guys are in chat right now, right? Yeah. It's a live show. You, if to spray us would be if you're like, this stream sucks. Like, what's wrong with you? Your attitude yeah. is bad. You know, yes, that kind you're of right. stuff. Yeah. So then he relents, and he also just can't stop it. So eventually, he's like, okay, fine, take what you want, type thing. Yeah. Because right? he, he's look, he looks bad. Look at him. He's. He, He's lost all his energy. It's making him look bad too because he's yeah. be, he's fighting it, right? And so then, like you know, what Ever, ensues everyone's is like, everyone's yeah. they bring out they the shopping, shopping carts, carts. <laughs> dude. They borrowed a shopping cart from down the way. Yeah. This is why you can't give away free things in China, is because people will just come and take everything. Yeah, because that this doesn't exist. Yeah, the free sample thing doesn't exist in China. Yeah. That's just not a thing that you do. A lot of big companies have learned the hard way that you can't do that in China. Yeah. like IKEA. We talked about it yeah. before. You know, if you go to IKEA, you can make your own coffee, and yeah. they've got like a thing of milk. You can pour your own yeah. milk. You can do. They had to stop that in China because yeah. the grab hags, the IEs, would go in there even though they don't even drink coffee with like their own yeah, bags. Yeah, they hate coffee. And they fill their bags up with all the free milk and the, yeah. the powder and the sugar and everything, so yeah. there's nothing left within one, a, within yeah. an hour. Yeah, one person will clear out the whole yeah. like IKEA stand there. Yeah, they'll they'll bring a ju- like a keg. Dude, Starbucks. Yeah. You know Starbucks. Um, in the beginning in China, they used to have those therm- like a thermos of cream and milk and stuff, half and half or whatever. So you get your Americano and then you can go over to like a little counter and top up yourself with milk and stuff. They had to stop doing that because the IEs would just come and like fill up their own flasks of milk and everything to walk away. So you had to actually go to the counter and ask them to add something for you if you, yeah. if you needed it. You know, that yeah. kind of thing. Anyway, anyway so, so this is just how it backfires. Um, that And then this got a lot of notoriety on the Chinese internet because it was a whole, like, dramatic event that unfolded. Can, can you imagine being so greedy as to fill up an entire shopping cart with ice cream? I mean, that's just yeah. shitty behavior. Right? I mean, look, there's, like, a hundred hi- ice creams in there. Yeah. You know, like, when you go down to the beach, like, you know, right. anywhere in the world, you always get someone with a little yeah, a cart. cart, and it's like, yeah. ding-a-ling-a-ling. That's an entire stock of one of those carts yeah. that these two girls just took she, for free. She went and actually set up a cart after this. You, yeah. I mean, the fact that they go in there, they, they took a shopping cart and yeah. filled it to the brim with free ice creams and walked away. Now you probably understand just how bad the whole giving away free things can be in China. Anyway, yeah. But the most important part of this is that the, the BMW thing, again, they mm. weren't just handing out free ice cream. No. All this spiraled out of control. You guys have to understand, this was like an organized event that you book online through the app. Yeah, you, you were supposed to. Cream. Yeah, you were supposed to actually like on the app apply yeah. for the free ice cream, and then and it, you go. And it turns out it wasn't for foreigners. It was no. for everyone. Of course, it was just as many Chinese people got it. Yeah, but then it spiraled out of control because that one BMW employee or someone related to that got one of the ice creams. Yes, and then then they were like, "Oh, they're only giving them to foreigners." Yeah, this is how this started. And by the way, this this blew up way more than last episode. Yeah, last time we showed somebody setting their BMW on fire. Yeah, and that kind of it gets worse. But uh, we thought we'd show you something else ice cream related, okay? This has actually got nothing to do with the whole BMW fiasco. Yeah. But this is a homegrown Chinese ice cream, and the woman bought it and bit into it, and guess what she found in the ice cream? <laughs> a bolt. A bolt, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, a nut, sorry. That's a nut. Nut, yeah. Yeah. I mean, a massive nut. And it's not a hazelnut. No. Anyway. It's not the kind of nut you want to bite into. So, that sounds no. <laughs> Yeah. Take Sorry take a that. look, guys. This is fallout from the BMW thing. So, you know, it's spread online like wildfire that BMW's racist, right? Yeah. 
So people are going around smashing like any BMW product. There's Wouldn't a... that be funny if that was a, a Chinese fake mini? There's a lot of those fake ones. Yeah, there, there are. But, but I mean, like, this is in a showroom, right? Mm. Like, why would you do that? The people, like, were putting bumper stickers over the, the BMW logos and stuff. But this is, by the way, this is one of those great examples of a Chinese um, person putting on a fake license plate to look like they're from a different place. Yeah, because, look, they've got a California <laughs> a license California plate, but underneath license it, plate. you can see the blue Chinese one. Yeah, they do that a lot, actually. They do. Yeah. You know why he's doing this, though? It's to protect his car. Yeah. Um, and because to be it's patriotic. making you look like you're, hey, I'm not supporting this BMW giving away free ice cream thing. People were right. doing, you know, during the anti-Japanese riots with the Senkaku Islands, yeah. um, they were doing that. If you had a Toyota or something, yeah, people or were like sticking massive Chinese flags and things on their car so people wouldn't attack it and mm. saying like big like anti-Japanese slogans and stuff so people wouldn't attack their cars. So this yeah. is the same thing. Yeah. There's a lot of material like this, but it got, again, it got worse because... Yep. People are smashing like random cars people's the, cars. Yeah, in the parking lots and stuff. Yeah. So like you can see the, the one just above us here. Someone came out to their car and, and it had just been smashed with a hammer, and they broke the handles. And it, I mean that's not fair. That's you know this dude. It was wrong too. This it had nothing to do with BMW. <laughs> yeah, I mean this guy bought his BMW. You know, probably paid a shitload of money for it in China. Yeah. Cars are very expensive. About double, yeah. Yeah, like double the price. He's probably very proud of his car, and then just because of some misunderstanding, stupid thing with the ice yeah. cream, he comes down and his car is smashed. Yeah. You see, this is when xenophobia and nationalism just go nuts. Yeah, and the government allows it. Of course they do. Because the government, and this is something you have to realize about China, the government has every opportunity to send out a mass text message that goes to everyone. Yep. And they did that. Yep. They did that when the anti-Japanese riots yep. got out of control. Yep. Remember? Things were so out of control, the smashing, but they wanted that. And it just reached a point where they just sent out a, like to everybody. In fact, I have a video of it. I actually filmed it because I was there at the time. Yeah. And it said something like, to, like, to all, all us Chinese people, it's good to be patriotic, but we mustn't attack private people's property type thing. And it, now it's time to stop. And it stopped. Yeah. They could do that. Yeah. You know, they could clear it up, but they don't want to. Uh oh. Anyway, so the it, it just kind of got out there. Lots of footage of like people smearing ice creams on BMWs yeah. and writing slogans here, throwing a shared bike on a BMW just because, you know. Just because. It's pathetic. Yeah. You know? There is all kinds of vandalism inside of these like parking garages uh -huh. and stuff. Uh, also, a little, <laughs> little clip from the Shanghai Expo. Yeah. Uh, this is what would we call a Karen that's a man? Uh, there is a name for it, like oh, a Ken. A Ken or something? Yeah, I think okay. they call them a Ken. But this is like a, a Ken. Again, if you're a company in China, just don't have the option of giving away free things. Yeah. Because this is what you get. This guy's complaining that he didn't get, you know, freebies from this Toyota stand or whatever. Yeah. Just look at him freaking out. Having a conniption. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's basically saying like, why didn't you give me this? Why didn't you give me that? You know, like, I don't have this or that. Give me this. Give me that. And they're like, oh, we'll give you this. And they're giving him things just to shut him up. And he's going a bit overboard here. Yeah. Spoil nonsense. Looks like Kevin. Oh, it's a yeah, Kevin? Yeah. Okay. Imagine getting so upset over a free fan. That see, is. See that fan? That's like the first thing he was really yeah. going on about is he wants one of those free fans. Why didn't I get one of these? Yeah, I don't know why we're even covering this. Anyway. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's a know. man having a conniption. Yeah, the, the free swag. He's sweating over it. Yeah, no, seriously, though, I just I think that this is a good uh, public service announcement for any company that's doing business with China is when you go to an event like this, don't have free giveaways, have a great presentation, put something on that's good and entertaining. So people get something from it, like maybe have a, I don't know, dance or a, yeah, something. Uh, something interesting, maybe karaoke people can sing. I don't know anything like that, but don't give away anything physical, free stuff, because first of all, 
there's a subset of the of Chinese population, those grab hags. If they get a whiff of that, there's free stuff going away. They'll come and just like that IE taking that dude's ice cream and like the women with the All, shopping cart. It's always that age generation. Yeah, the, you'll get them coming in there and just taking everything. So it's not going to have the effect of actually being a nice thing for everyone because you'll get a couple of people ruining it for everyone else. But on top of that, you might be caught up in a big racist furore like uh, yeah. BMW and your yeah. car's being smashed and your stock price is going down. So don't give away freebies in China. Apparently. <laughs> oh, no, not again. Oh, yeah. oh. Selfish ass grab hags. Yeah, they're just grab hags. They want photos of that. They still won't get a good picture. No. Yeah. <laughs> they love destruction. And he'd have a drink and he'd turn into a freaking tomato. It really must suck if you're Asian and you're trying to like have a little sly drink with your parents not knowing oh, yeah. or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? You well, can't. Yeah. What a sucky way to die. Die by peanut. Yes. You know what I mean? Imagine that on your gravestone. <laughs> uh, death by, dead by peanut. Death by peanut.